Welcome to the Satoshi Suspects, a series where we profile the most likely candidates behind the mysterious Bitcoin creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. In each short episode, we take a look at an individual who either could be Satoshi themselves, or could have contributed to Bitcoin if Satoshi Nakamoto is in fact a group and not simply one person. In this episode, we will be examining the most controversial figure in the search for Satoshi, Craig Wright. Craig Wright is an Australian computer scientist and entrepreneur. He was born in 1970 in Brisbane, Australia. Wright is an individual who claims to be many things. On his website, Site, DrCraigWright.net. He lists himself as an eternal student and researcher, N-chain chief scientist, lawyer, banker, economist, pastor, coder, investor, mathematician, stats, and world curious. Oh, and he also says that he is the Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamoto. That's correct. Craig Wright is unique in this series and indeed the Bitcoin world as he is the only suspect who is actively and publicly claiming to be Satoshi. This is massive source of debate within the Bitcoin community. Believe it or not, the entire story emerges from a seven-month period from November November 2015 to May 2016. In late 2015, the first link between Craig Wright and Satoshi appeared when Wired Magazine and Gizmodo both named Wright as potentially being Satoshi in separate articles that were made public on the same day. These were based on evidence that was leaked to them from a source, quote, close to Wright. At the same time, Wright also appeared via Skype at a Bitcoin investor conference as part of a panel that includes suspect number four, Nick Sabo. He alludes to the fact that he was involved in Bitcoin early, but quote, Quote, keeps his head down and was a minor quote in the early days without disclosing any details. He smiles at just the right time as if he is hiding something or knows something that we don't know. Then on April 7th 2016 Gavin Andreessen an early Bitcoin developer flew to London and met with Wright in a hotel conference room in Covent Garden. This meeting is known as the private signing session where in front of Andreessen in real life Craig Wright signed Bitcoin blocks with the private keys associated with the first ever Bitcoin transaction which was executed by Satoshi Nakamoto. This stunning act meant that Wright had Satoshi's private keys and was therefore Satoshi Nakamoto himself. Wright later repeated the process in front of John Motanis, founder of the Bitcoin Foundation. Both men believed what they saw. Andreessen wrote on his blog, I believe Craig Stephen Wright is the person who invented Bitcoin, while Motanis said that I have no doubt that Craig Stephen Wright is the person behind the Bitcoin technology. Craig Wright as Satoshi gained even more momentum just a few weeks later, when on May 2nd, 2016, Wright released a blog post on his personal blog confirming, or at least claiming that he, Craig Wright, is Satoshi Nakamoto. He has since deleted this blog, but I've left a link below to an archive version of the page. On that same day, May 2nd, the BBC released an interview with Wright, which is incredibly awkward, just to say the least. Several statements are made which are significant for this story. Firstly, Wright says he is about to prove that he is Satoshi by signing a message using the same public key that was associated with the first Bitcoin transaction. This is the same thing he did with Andreessen and Matonis, but he never actually does it on camera. Then, the interviewer asks if he can confirm, hand on heart, that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. Wright replies, I was the main part of it, other people helped me. Some people will believe me, some people won't. I don't really care. As we will discuss later, he actually does really care if people believe him or not. Even more bizarrely, despite going on an interview with one of the largest media organizations in the world, Craig Wright says that he would prefer if his identity was a secret. He doesn't want money, he doesn't want fame, he just wants to be left alone. Since then, he has pursued both money and fame, some could argue. Finally, he closes the interview saying that he didn't decide to come forward and that the decision to go public was quote, decided for him. He says he will only do an interview once and never step in front of a TV camera again. Then he does interviews with The Economist and GQ magazine. Since that day, Wright has participated in several dozen on-camera interviews. That is a lot of publicity for a man who doesn't want fame, but I digress. From the Wired and Gizmodo articles in late 2015, to a core Bitcoin developer in Gavin Andreessen, and the Bitcoin Foundation founder both stating that Wright is Satoshi, and of course the mainstream media coverage, that should all be enough, or at least is significant enough to entertain the idea that Satoshi's real identity has been discovered. Discovered. As quickly as it was made public, Wright's claims were disputed. Wired magazine backtracked on their article just a few days after it was released by Wright, quote, appeared to be fraudulent. Both Wired and Gizmodo were supplied with hacked emails, legal filings, deleted blog posts, and other documents, all allegedly coming from Wright's personal computer. There are suspicions though that Wright leaked these documents himself, or a member of his team did. Now, the leaked blog posts, which amazingly show Wright discussing blockchain, crypto, and Bitcoin itself as far back as 2000. 
2008, before Bitcoin was publicly launched, were later shown by Wired magazine to have been edited in early 2015. The leaks also link Wright with the email address Satoshi Nakamoto used to launch the Bitcoin white paper. Craig Wright can't prove that he is Satoshi Nakamoto, but he does have the educational background and technical skills to create Bitcoin, even if he can't prove it, right? Well, that has also been called into question by some very close to the map. Nick Sabo, our previous Satoshi suspect, called Wright out at the Bitcoin Investor Conference in late 2015, stating that he didn't agree with Wright's statements on Bitcoin's code. He said that Wright was wrong and said that he should write a paper to prove it because he didn't understand how his points could be true. It's quite humorous to watch, and many in the comments believe this interaction is the real Satoshi, Nick Sabo, shutting down the fake Satoshi, Craig Wright. Nick Sabo designed the precursor to Bitcoin, BitGold. He also worked on Bitcoin, so he knows what he's talking about. If Wright created Bitcoin, he should know what he's talking about too. Sabo isn't the only crypto heavyweight to call out Wright in person. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin called Wright a fraud to his face at the Deconomy conference in 2018, pointing out technical mistakes Wright had made in his presentation. Still though, Gavin Andreessen, a Bitcoin core developer, was convinced. Wright had a high profile longtime supporter who for many years defended Craig Wright in both interviews and even in court. However, Andreessen has since changed his stance and no longer believes Wright is Satoshi. He has said that nefarious tactics could have been used to make it appear that Wright signed a transaction with Satoshi's key back in 2016. Andreessen believes the laptop he witnessed was not factory sealed, that the wallet software could have been rogue and there could have been other technical trickery at play. So in February 2023, Andreessen updated his personal blog, specifically a post where he endorsed Craig Wright as Satoshi, saying that he was wrong to trust Craig Wright as much as he did. Wright's biggest supporter, who lent him so much credibility, was now gone. Despite all setbacks imaginable, Craig Wright maintains still that he is Satoshi. He has been involved in numerous legal battles, including a lawsuit by the estate of his former business partner. Wright was ordered by a Florida court to pay Kleiman's estate more than $5 billion in Bitcoin, which is believed to be one of the largest court-ordered awards in history. He also lost a defamation case against Hodlnot, a Bitcoiner who publicly declared Craig Wright to be a fraud. Craig Wright was deemed by the court to have not provided sufficient evidence that he was in fact Satoshi. A lot of other weird stuff happened which is worth mentioning. Wright copyrighted the Bitcoin white paper, which has obviously angered the Bitcoin community, as several websites had to take it down. It also emerged that Wright had unsuccessfully applied to work at the Bitcoin Foundation years ago. He also got behind Bitcoin SV, or Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, which he calls True Bitcoin, then tried to sue Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash for copyright infringement, which of course, he lost in court. None of this made him look like he was the open source, anti-establishment visionary who gave us Bitcoin in the first place. So, the question must be asked. Is is Craig Wright really Satoshi Nakamoto? I don't think so, and many people in the cryptocurrency community remain skeptical of his claims. While Wright has previously provided some technical evidence to support his claim, this was done in a strange private way to a select few, when it would be just as straightforward to do so in public and put the debate to rest. Ironically, the more he has tried to prove that he is Satoshi, the less believable the claim has become. The idea and debate still rages on today, but the original sources from the seven month period in 2015 to 2016, when Wright claimed to be Satoshi originally have all backtracked one by one since then. There are just too many questions left unanswered. If Wright was Satoshi, why did he apply for a job at the Bitcoin Foundation? Why did he, in his own words, destroy the keys to the $42 billion in Satoshi's slash his wallet? Why did he release the Bitcoin white paper for free only to copyright it years later? Why can't he just log into Satoshi's email or the Bitcoin forum account and send a message or a post? There are too many inconsistencies in the story and the constant legal challenges, technical mishaps, and contradictions in his behavior do nothing to strengthen his claims, which should on paper be very easy to do. It is really hard on the outside to believe that Craig Wright is Satoshi. Other crypto pioneers such as Vitalik Buterin have publicly labeled him as a scammer. Gavin Andreessen has written that he was wrong to trust Wright. CZ, who founded Binance, straight up says Wright is not Satoshi. Almost every time he has gone to court, Wright has lost his case. In my opinion, he is trying to get clout or credit for someone else's work, and he is failing at it. The one man who claims to be Satoshi can not prove it. And so the search continues.